Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help you resolve if the Windows Photo Viewer application is unable to open pictures because you do not have the correct permissions. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you want to first start by navigating to whatever folder you're having the problem with. So let's say it's this pictures folder on our desktop. This could apply for another folder as well, but we're just going to use this as an example for today's tutorial. And we're going to go ahead and right click on it and then select properties at the bottom of that drop down menu. Now that you're here, so now you want to left click on the security tab. Select advanced near the bottom. So for special permissions or advanced settings, click advanced. So go ahead and left click on that. Now that you are in this screen, you want to go ahead and make sure that your user account is listed under full control. If not, you want to go select the Add button. Select Select the Principal. It says Enter the object name to select. So just start typing in your user account name here. It doesn't have to be exact because then we're going to select Check Names. You should be able to actually identify our desktop username, which might be slightly different than our actual username because there are different usernames that Windows uses to identify each individual user. So a little complicated, but just make sure you select check names and then select OK. Underneath basic permissions, select full control and then select OK. And there you go. Very simple process there, guys. So once you're done with that, close out of here or select apply and OK, I should say and then select OK one more time. And you should be able to access the folders and the pictures with, without any further problem. So as always, Thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.